so today I'm working on a pizza prep table, a cooler. Um, the breaker was tripped, put my voltmeter to the outlet, got four volts, probably a breaker tripped. And the breaker out of all these breakers and this very nicely put electrical loom. So as soon as I turn it on, it trips. Mind you, I have the pizza oven, or pizza table refrigerator plugged in still, so it's most likely because it is a bad compressor or a fan, or there could just be a short. I'm thinking it's probably the compressor, like not the age of it. Still plugged in. Uh, unplug it. Uh, a quick way to check. Is. You don't even have to open it up. Get a continuity. We're just going to check the cons. So now it did make it late. So that means that we have a short somewhere. Because I shouldn't have anything when I touch these two together. So now we have to go inside the system and find out where it is. Probably the compressor. So I tested the compressor. I might be wrong, but um, <clears throat> I ohmed it out. It ohmed out pretty fine, but then it climbed at one point. And uh, yeah, I got continuity through terminals. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Uh, can't remember or not. Uh, I do work on a lot of different things though. So forgive me for my forgetfulness. But I have it plugged in and we're going to reset that breaker with it plugged in but the compressor as you saw is unplugged completely caster and all so this stays on sorry so if this unit doesn't trip the breaker with that compressor disconnected and I know for a fact it is the compressor that's the problem so 23 again and it stayed on so that compressor is fucked um, I'm going to go back over there and see if maybe the capacitor is bad I'll test the fan motor as well but um, from what I can see it's that compressor because but well, that compressor disconnected, obviously we're staying on. I'm gonna disconnect the fans and then reconnect the compressor. The compressor turns on, but the fan doesn't turn on. Then obviously uh, the compressor doesn't need to be replaced, but as of right now, that is what it's looking like. So let's go see if my compressor theory holds true. Pretty sure it will. Uh, I am the kitchen wizard, so we'll see. So no need for that. It's actually not wired in series. It's on power from the connectors. And the fan is on, and my compressor is disconnected, so the compressor is probably short to ground. Uh, I'm going to test the capacitor, but as for now, it's looking just like the compressor is done, though. So, this is what I've learned to call a compressor. <clears throat> this is a generic hard start capacitor. This is a, it's Friday, and I just want to get this fucking thing going type deal. Um, solid state relay overload start capacitor. So, it's like getting rid of all of it um, together 
I know it's something you pick up at the supply house because it's for 112 horsepower to ran out of juice. Um, and that could be why we're recording that. Um, probably because it's short of stopping in here. So <clears throat> I'm gonna take a picture of this battle plate. It comes, sir. Put it back. I'll own test it one more time. Um, kind of sucks because uh, <clears throat> this unit is down right now. But let's see. So um, I'm a fucking bit. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, I should have just tested the ground the first time. And now, so you can see that it is shorted. So pretty much I can put it like right there and maybe right here. And so when I touch this, it should not be making contact. But it totally is. And it's burnt out now. So, start to ground on the compressor. Happens when you use those hard starts. Uh, usually, it's what it happens when I come in. I see that. But uh, yeah, you're gonna have to order that compressor and show the video of how to replace it. Okay, so um, most of this video is probably me making. Uh, either an ass of myself or maybe a little bit of a mockery of refrigeration um, but essentially uh, the, sh the compressor was short to ground I should have put one of my liter meter legs on the terminal and went straight to the chassis of the unit didn't do that uh, so that would have saved me a whole lot of time uh, I didn't end up going to Bakersfield um, and yeah so it needs a new compressor Everything I said about that hard start compressor, capacitor, hard start capacitor three in one, is still true. Um, I'm not saying that the compressor probably went out because of that, but I'm saying it probably went out because of that. Um, so I'm actually starting these videos, and this is going to be the first one. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Haven't really had the fire to do it, but I just randomly thought, hey, I'm going to start recording this. Uh, so I'm trying to make videos for new to somewhat intermediate refrigeration technicians based on commercial units. So like ice makers, walk-in coolers, walk-in freezers, reach-in coolers, just like this one, um, cold wells, cold wells. Uh, I don't think there's any blast chillers here where I, where, where I work, but <clears throat> essentially I'm gonna be covering refrigeration, HVAC, and cooking equipment. Um, so I know when you search in something on YouTube, it's really hard to fucking find, um, you know, proper videos that actually show you what you're looking for. Um, I don't have every single piece of equipment here at the company that I work at, uh, but we do have quite a bit. Um, I work for a travel center. I'm not really going to say which one you guys might be able to figure out who knows. Um, but yeah, every day is a new day for me from plumbing to electrical, but mainly I fix mechanical things, uh, like what you just saw now. Um, so here's to a new, uh, channel.